about today's video because I love talking about my favorite artists and in this video I'm gonna tell you about 10 of my favorite dead artists. By dead I mean they are literally dead. I don't know how you guys feel about art history but I find that art history is extremely inspiring and even though the styles might not really relate to what you like to do, maybe you like anime or whatever, you can be inspired by all sorts of things and you should be inspired by all sorts of things because that encourages originality. Fair warning also, in this video there's probably going to be some nudity because I'm talking about older painters and uh, drawing naked people, especially women, was very popular. So just be aware if you're not okay with nudity or some boobs showing, uh, you might not want to watch this video. So the first artist that I want to talk about is Alphonse Mucha. His artwork is so inspiring. There's lots of uh, art out there that is directly inspired by his work. Art Nouveau was very inspired by nature, by lots of organic curves and lots of detail and just really beautiful illustrative type of work. And by that I mean it's sort of realistic but it's not a very painterly style. It's sort of kind of flat and the detail is mostly added in by using line. I just love the way he draws figures, the way he draws women, and the really soft, very delicate and detailed like tendrils of hair everywhere and it's just so like, mm, it's beautiful. You've probably seen work like this or seen his work because um, it's everywhere and pretty much everyone loves it. I have never met anybody who dislikes Alphonse Mucha. The next artist is J.C. Leyendecker. He was a really successful American illustrator. His paintings are beautiful. They're just, they're stylized and like a little bit cartoony, but they're still very realistic and I don't know, I just, I love his painting style. He did lots of really beautiful illustrations. He had this this very specific manly look that he liked for his arrow collar advertisements. The next painter is Norman Rockwell. He was influenced by J.C. Lindecker, although Norman Rockwell's style is definitely a little bit more realistic. There's a lot more storytelling going on in his paintings. The next artist is Henry de Toulouse-Lautrec. I really like his paintings of the Moulin Rouge. He gives these women a lot of personality and character and there's just something really cool and different about his style. I love how bold his illustrations slash poster designs were. I like the sort of cheekiness and the personality he gives to the women that he portrays. These were usually real women that worked at the Moulin Rouge or whatever club he was advertising. The next artist is Claude Monet. So his paintings aren't particularly detailed, it's just the nature of Impressionism. He did those really big paintings of uh, water lilies and things like that using really bold paint strokes. I just love the detail and also lack of detail that goes into his work because it's not so much about the figures, the objects themselves, it's more about showing you the light and the color. I think it's amazing how, how he was able to translate color from life into painting and even when he painted the same thing uh, over and over again at different times of day, they look completely different and they, look, they all look so cool. The next artist is John Singer Sargent. He was a portrait painter. One of his most famous is Madame X. It was a very controversial painting at the time. He also painted lots of other wealthy people and there's just something about his paintings that show a lot of personality and that was something that he was very well known for. He focused a lot on, on showing that person's real character which is really awesome and his painting style is just amazing. Next artist is Gustav Klimt. You've probably seen The Kiss, that's one of his most uh, famous paintings and his work is awesome. It's very decorative. There's a lot of detail and patterns going on. There's lots of flowy lines and then also 
very um, interesting geometric patterns put in between the portraits and just really interesting things going on, very beautiful presentation and just like really pretty to look at. The next painter is John William Waterhouse. He was a pre-Raphaelite painter. The pre-Raphaelites focused on painting paintings of medieval times. So knight in shining armor and damsel in distress uh, sort of situations. And the women are so beautiful and their hair is like all flowy and like voluptuous. Cause it's like all the uh, chivalry stories that you hear about, like the, the knight coming to save the princess or whatever, it's really awesome. I don't know, it's very dreamy. The next artist is Tamara Dellampica. She is one of my favorite artists, um, along with thousands of other artists, but whatever. Her personal life is pretty interesting. You should look it up if you're interested in uh, crazy glamorous people in the 20s and 30s. But her paintings are beautiful and they are very stylized because even her figures, they have this very metallic quality and they're very streamlined and um, they look like statues almost. She just did a great job of making people seem like extremely glamorous and beautiful and totally untouchable <laughs> and she just made you glamorous as hell. And the last artist that I'm gonna talk about is William Adolphe Bouguereau. He painted in a realistic style and he painted mostly religious themed paintings and also mythology. His paintings are just so beautiful. I can't, I can't explain, like you can just tell, you can see it. They are just so beautiful the way he paints skin. His figures look like they're glowing and the women are just so pretty and one of my favorites is his um, Birth of Venus. My battery is running out so I need to hurry up. So those are 10 of my favorite dead artists. I hope that you liked all of them, at least one of them. You should totally look up these artists and definitely look into more dead artists because dead artists are cool. Alive artists are also really cool, of course, but you should also be inspired by older stuff. Anyway, I hope that you liked this video. I hope that you liked the artists that I talked about and I'm sorry that I'm kind of rushed. My camera is running very low on battery. Please let me know who your favorite artist was down below or maybe who your favorite artist is that I didn't include in this list. If you're totally against it, let me know, but otherwise I think I'll just go ahead and start doing more videos on art history and I can talk about artists but also about movements, maybe specific time periods, and uh, specific materials. Please leave your suggestions, comments, questions, anything below or message me. So my camera did die and I had to finish recording this video on my phone. I'm sorry if the quality is different. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.